Hey guys, so this is an update on the CNC machine and pretty much my whole garage. So what I've done in the last uh, few months is basically just finish this thing. And uh, you can see here it's all extremely white and clean and got some nice nice lights up here. This whole garage before was, uh, it was uninsulated so now it's it's insulated with rock wall insulation. And which is great because I got a little heater. So when it's nice and cold outside, like right now, it's, I don't know, it's probably like negative 10 out there. It's freezing cold. You can get a nice and toasty in here. Um, so yeah, and this, I don't, I don't have any shelves yet. So, you know, I got to build some shelves and, and whatnot in here. So. My my whole garage is kind of just a mess of, of things. We got some hole saws, some some drillama things, a bunch of big tools and whatnot, some grinders and things. This is my dad's uh, uh, drill press. This one's Canadian. They don't make anything in Canada anymore. And you can see here this thing was made in Guelph, Ontario. This is a nice drill. I've, I've used this thing for a long time when I was a kid as well. Let's see if it runs. Yeah. So that'll make things a lot easier. And uh, yeah, so with the CNC machine, uh, where I left off with was uh, I finished this table. So this table is all fully welded, and like I didn't put any gussets in here. I don't even know if I am gonna put in gussets in the end. It's like the well, the whole table like it doesn't it doesn't bend or flex or anything. Maybe maybe that'll change once this you know when this whole assembly is moving and whatnot. I'll have to you know think about that, but. Like it already, it already is so inflexible and it weighs a ton. And even when I was welding it, like the, the big rectangle on the top, uh, trying to get some, some slight warps out was like basically impossible. Even, even after some like light, uh, like tacking things together, like the, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to have any issues with this thing flexing at all. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you down the line. And right now, the CNC machine is just sitting on these two upright uh, cross members. So one there and one there. And I don't have anything in the center, but that is what this one here is for. So I'm not gonna pick that up, not with one hand. So what I'm gonna do, this one is one inch shorter than from here to here. And I think that'll be okay. What I'll do is, so like this piece, there's a bunch of holes in there because it was originally this piece here. And I kind of screwed up. So now it's, you know, now it's gonna be used for something else. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna fill these holes in with some with the TIG welder and clean all that up so it doesn't look like you know I made any mistakes and whatnot. And that's gonna go under here, and I'm just gonna clamp it and weld it in place. And yeah, that that way this thing will be sitting on three instead of two. And that way I can also, like I can't move this, I don't want to move this machine out, like I want to keep it in there because it, it's big and bulky and heavy and pain in the ass to move around. So once I have the third one in the middle I can slide it around because I I need to weld in some tabs to the, to the steel here and bolt it on. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Some of the stock steel here. Let me, in one hand, trying to drop it on the ground. So I'll cut some tabs like that, 
and you know there will be six of them, so three on each side. And put this down. It's oh, easy and cold. So the, yeah, the the tiles will go on there, and what I'll do is uh, you know drill the holes, pre-drill the holes, cut it in place, uh, cut it to shape, and and all that. And then once it's bolted in there on those two holes, I'll weld it to the to the steel underneath, and that way. I'm guaranteed that the uh, you know they're gonna fit properly, and yeah, and and also any gap. So uh, let me see if I can get the camera and the phone under here. So like there's on some of these there's some gap. On on that far side it's fine. The that far side, uh, I think right now the machine is is slightly heavier. Just the way the the gantry and the head is placed, so the weight is on that side. So so that side is perfectly flat now, and then on this side, it's uh, on some of them, it's it's lifted by at the most maybe a millimeter or so, probably less than a millimeter, like with my thumb there. So that's how much. So those tabs, they're going to sit nice and flush. And once the middle piece is in, I can once the middle tube is in there, I can slide this whole thing out of the way and move the camera up here. I can weld some some nubs on the steel and grind them flat. So when when this is sitting on it, it'll sit nice and flush. And now if I try and move this around. We won't have any, you know, it'll be perfectly flat. So for finishing up the enclosure, uh, so still the uh, this front face here, that'll be polycarbonate or Lexan. And instead of doing stainless steel on the inside, uh, just because it's going to get really expensive from, from what I've been pricing out, what I think I'm going to do instead is go with aluminum and probably go with something probably the same gauge as what they use on on signs so it's thin enough but it's also uh, it's rigid enough that it's going to retain its shape very well and you know support itself and what's nice about aluminum as well you know obviously it's it's a hell of a lot cheaper is I don't want the wheel area about painting it and, and it's it's not going to rust. Uh, it's just you know, aluminum is going to it's going to get its ox oxide layer and you know be pretty immune to all of the all of the liquid and stuff that will be in here because of the flood cooling system. So and also I can I can weld it easy. So in another in another case, uh, like let's say there was a scenario where the end mill broke and you know flew somewhere and it hit the you know, let's say it was a catastrophic thing and it, and it hit the aluminum plate, it would be extremely easy just to weld and, and patch uh, any any kind of damage in the side. So I, I think that's probably going to be a good thing. And uh, I've been thinking about what to do about the top because like right now there's, you know, the garage has a lot of nice light. It's probably screened with the camera. Uh, because of the, the frame rate, um, but what I what I like to do is you know if maybe maybe I put in some plexiglass on the top, and you know hope, hopefully if you know if I do that then I don't have to deal with uh, wiring in uh, extra lights and stuff because it'll just get the natural light in there, and the likelihood of uh, an end mill or anything breaking and flying up is probably a lot less and also less dangerous so I've been thinking about that I might I might do that and for the bottom pan like that's you know that's still on the table to do uh, if I go with aluminum again like it's it'll be rigid enough where like if a tool falls in there and you know dings it up or you know something breaks even worse then um, it's you know it's, it's easy to fix and stuff so and you know it's all metal so it can all be you know patched up and welded and 
you know, if there's, you know, in the future, if there's things to add to it, it's easy to do. And like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna retain water if it gets wet like plywood. So that's with that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have right now. Uh, the, the big thing is really just to, to get this thing functioning so I can, I can use the machine to, you know, make parts for itself. For instance, all these, these plywood pieces and, and then all these plastic parts, you know, if I can, once the machine's running, I can make all that in aluminum. So like I have a chunk of aluminum here. I think it's, I think it's 12 millimeters thick. So I'm going to use that to uh, make a lot of these uh, replacement parts for the wood and plastic pieces. And uh, yeah, that should uh, that should be really good. Um, there's also electronics and whatnot, so that's going to go downstairs somewhere. I have a I have a big uh, enclosure for that stuff, and I haven't really thought about where to put it in. In the short term, I'm just gonna have it running on a table or, or something. And until I can kind of, you know, in, in CAD, kind of figure out where I wanna place everything. Um, in the CAD design I have right now, I have all of the, like the pan sloped down to here. And then that's where all the fluid and, you know, the, the chip filtration and, you know, extraction of the, you know, separation of the oil and the, and the coolant and whatnot, that's all going to go on that side. So I'm thinking of keeping this side clear so I can put the electrical and coolant closure and the, the CN, like the Linux CNC uh, PC that's running, have it all in there. But yeah, that's not going to be for a while. And uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all I really got to show this time. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, fill it out below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.